So your main work in this course, your main goal in this course is to work out problems and learn how to problem solve. So, how do we go about that? Well, all the content in this course is indeed under the tab content. And in particular, let's look at chapter 15 here. And as I open 15, I see that here are my lectures, Integrity and YouTube. And those are the lectures that have been uh, outlined in the daily schedule. And then down at the very bottom, I have the prom sets, either on Educrations or YouTube, YouTube just being a redundant form. And if I click on that, I see at the top of the prom set is a PDF file, which is indeed a copy of the prom set itself. So if I call that up, here's the prom set for chapter 15. And they're designed to uh, help you hone your skills in problem solving. Uh, the answers are at the back of the problem set. So uh, there's no secrets here. And so you wish to work out these problems and do the best you can. Uh, in the old days, this is what uh, the instructors would do and, and someone like me would be working on these problems the rest of their life, you know, working hours and hours and hours and sometimes we wouldn't get the right answer. Well, I don't essentially want you to do that. If you get stuck on a problem, what I'd prefer you to do is actually check the solution. So let's go back here. Below this PDF file is a worked out solution on video for every problem in the problem set. Let's just select one here. This link goes to Educrations. And there's a, there's a whiteboard showing me working out and talking about how to solve this problem stroke by stroke right in front of you. And so what you want to do is watch these videos and learn how to solve the problem. Now you could probably watch me do videos all day and maybe think you understand it, but unless you do it, you don't know it. So at some point you want to close these solutions, reread the problem, and work it out stroke by stroke yourself and practice doing that. Because again, unless you do it, you don't know it. But at least it's here and this will save you hours and hours and hours of time. So use this as a resource. It's, it's the modern way of learning to look at example and think about it and do it. So let's go back here. Maybe even looking at all these solutions might be a little bit too much. So if we go back to chapter 15 itself, we see in the middle of this folder, there's an essential 10 homework assignment. And if I click on that, I have essential 10 problems for this chapter. What I deem these as being problems that are most representative of the essential material you need to know for this chapter and the material you need to know for the quizzes and for the exams. So in the very least, if you worked out these 10, you would have the minimum basic material that you need to succeed. Uh, so I would, I would definitely know these 10 problems. And if I had more time, I would look at problems that were similar to these in the problem set. Uh, right up to the point of working out all the problems in the problem set. But like it's a, it's a function of time and this is establishing the minimum amount of work that you should be doing. Okay, so you've done all that work and you should be ready for the quiz. Uh, frankly, you know, from this essential 10 homework assignment, most likely I'm going to select problems from this assignment, change a few numbers, and that will be your quiz. And the quiz will be two problems, uh, 25 minutes on Sunday night. So that should get you ready for the quiz. Um, and let's just take a look at the quizzes. Let's... Here's a weekly homework quizzes with their due dates. And if you click on this, you will get you get into the quiz, 25 minutes long, and I'm not going to begin this. It'll, it'll show one problem, and it'll give you 
uh, multiple choice answers and you have to figure out the problem and put an answer in for that multiple choice. We have a fun quiz to help you get used to the format of the quiz. But that's basically what you would do to do the quiz. So that's it. Work out problems. Do as many as you can. And uh, if, if you did all the problems in the problem set, I assure you, you would be ready for the exams as well. We'll have a sample test for the exam so you can see the flavor of the way that I ask questions on the exams. But uh, working out problems is, is what you need to do, the skills that you need to learn to succeed in this course.